if you are an LAL fan, LA Rams fan, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you for the simple fact that you will not be good for a very, very long time. I feel sorry for you for the simple fact that your coach don't want to be there. Your quarterback don't want to be there. Hell, your defensive coordinator even don't want to be there. So how in your right mind, you LA Rams fans, think you can win the division this year? How do you LA Rams fans think that you'll win more than six games this year? How do you LA Rams fans really think that Sean McVay is going to magically sprinkle a little bit of fairy dust in there and bada bing bada boom you guys are doing magical things how you have no draft picks you have no salary cap and everybody you guys used to have is gone so if you are an LA Rams fan pump the brakes a little bit pump the brakes because let's just be honest at the end of the day you guys are going to be the new Cleveland Browns. You guys are going to be the new Houston Texans. Hell, you guys might even be the new New York Jets. Just take it on the chin this this, this, this season. Stop pumping your chest. And quite frankly, just shut up at the end of the day. (laughs) Shut up at the end of the day. Come on, Rams fans. You guys are better than this. Cue that intro. Are you ready for the best damn radio show on the planet? Man, our nation, (laughs) rise up. Every time, no. I would like to personally welcome you to Man Hour at the dark. Say that thing. Why bring you the host, Mike? Fucking calm. You know what I'm talking about. You know that it's us when we talking about sports. Uh, Giving you facts on the field to the core. Uh, Tune in. We need the support. One hour too short. Tell us some more. Oh no, your station not dropping no music. Starts like Adidas, but Nike just do it. Down four on the fourth. We go for the win. Michael, two seconds. We taking it in. Buck Mike and Combs. You know what's going on. Man, now we're out the dark. No LA. We the big spark. No fourth and inches won't cut short. Got the best talking. It's all sports. Buzzing more than buzz beat. We come alive, all three speaks, go. And what is up, Man Hour Nation? Michael Bakasha here with the Man Hour. Sure to head over to manhourradio.com. Check out the merchandise page. Sure to check out the blog section as well. This month's merch is the Flame merch. We got the Flame logo over there. We got hats. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. We got everything you need to put yourself in some Man Hour gear. And if you use promo code MANHOUR, Right now, use promo code MANHOUR. Save yourself some dollar dollar bills. That is 20%. You guys can win. Win, 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 win. Guys, it is Thursday edition here on the Man Hour. April 6, 2023, day 22, right? No, day 21 of the NFL. No, it is day 22. Day 22 of the NFL offseason. Wow. We're getting closer to that NFL draft each and every day. We are officially about three weeks away. For me, myself, Combs, and Fitz being live at Bourbon Street there in Chicago, Illinois, 113 Bourbon Street, guys. Be sure to pop in and say, hey, get yourself a drink. And uh, if you if you get yourself a drink, I will let you guys set up for BetStamp for free. BetStamp.app. Check it out. They're magic, baby. They're magic. Like I said, it is Factor Crap Day. We're going to talk a little bit about Cam Newton, some Tyreek Hill, saying he's going to make the Chiefs' life's hell. What? What? Bobby Wagner returns to the Seahawks. We're going to talk about that. Trevor Lawrence and Kevin really finally got on the field and threw the ball around. Are they going to be the best duo ever? We will talk about that. We will talk about that. Javier jumping in the chat. Right off the bat says, Colts will win the AFC. I like the Colts in the South, but I don't like the Colts in the AFC, Javier. I do not like the Colts to win the uh, AFC championship game. Uh, But they have a pretty good shot uh, to get to the... uh, uh, Magical game. Magical game. Magical game. But let's get into some new news. New news for April 6th here, 2023 here. Thursday edition of Man Hour. 
quarterback Tim Boyle has officially signed one year deal with the Jets to be a backup. Guys, is it time for the Jets to uh, start thinking about a plan B? It almost seems like they're not going to get the Aaron Rodgers deal done. I'm, I'm, I'm start. If I'm a Jets fan, I'm starting to feel a little bit worried about that. Safety Ryan Neal has signed with the Buccaneers. That's a huge deal. Add some, add some depth. Add some veteran leadership over over there uh, on the Bucks secondary. Defensive tackle Corey Peters has officially retired after 13 seasons from the Jacksonville Jaguars. He played 13 games last. Sorry, he played 12 games last season and started just three but he is officially retiring after 13 seasons in the nfl great nfl career arizona receiver zach pascal was just has announced that he will officially be wearing number zero i i i I don't like this at all same thing with detroit right receiver marvin jones he'll be wearing number zero as well like who really cares who cares kansas city signs offensive offensive lineman chandler jones Add that depth, baby. Add that depth. Let them. Uh, yeah. Need all the offensive line that we can get. But guys, that is it for the new news. Of course, there's been a lot of visits. A lot of top 30 process visits. Ravens, Chiefs, all those goes, guys. They're making their visits. But guys, that is it for the new news. Before we get into today's show, we got to welcome some people into the chat here. We got Javier jumping in. Javier, 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 what's up, man? Got Katie jumping in the chat. She says she says she got two blue cats today. 20 blue cats, I should say. Damn. Save some for the rest of us, Katie. And if you guys are watching us, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Let us know that you are watching. Sharing is caring at the end of the day, but it is time to get into today's show as I get the cough. Sorry about that. The old allergies are flaring up again. This whole, this whole, this whole Ohio, Ohio Valley thing kills me, kills me every time we get a nice warm day and then things flare up. It's just terrible. All righty, guys. So it is time to get into some fact or crap. But before you get into that, I got to I gotta jump on this comment. Javier says the Jets will have a plan B. It has been a while since we've heard any Aaron Rodgers news to the New York football Jets. The Jets did just sign, what, Tim Boyle to a one-year deal. So, Javier, are you saying the Jets' plan B is uh, Tim Boyle? Like what it like what legitimately is are 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 the New York Jets plan B? It can't be Zach Wilson, is it? I mean, I guess he is still uh he still has what two years left on his rookie deal. I mean, I mean I guess that could be your plan B. But as a player, as a work person in general, if you are looking to replace me and you can't replace me, why do I want to stay there and help you out? Trade me. Fire me, cut me, do whatever. Give me an opportunity somewhere else because clearly you don't think I'm like I'm the man. If the Jets have a plan B in mind, I would like to hear it. I would like to hear what their plan B plan is. Javier, what do you think their plan B plan is? I'm I, I'm just I'm just curious. People in the chat, let me know. What do you think the plan B is? What are the New York football Jets plan B? I don't think I don't think they have one. I don't think they have one. And if they do, they're playing it very close to the vest and they're messing up big time. I don't know. Just get that Aaron Rodgers deal done. Well, we're 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 tired of talk, talking about it. Tired of talking about it. Crystal jumping in the chat. Crystal Love. What's up, Crystal Love? He says, she says, Dallas Cowboys are number one always, forever and ever. We rock for life. Spoken like a true Dallas Cowboys fan. Crystal, pump that chest, baby. Pump that chest. I, I, I don't have my Sean Lee hat here, Andy, but I'm a Cowboys fan as well. I love Vanderish. I love Sean Lee. I, I, America's team, baby. Pump that chest, Crystal. We love it. Monday, I will save a lot of for my alum. I, I, Katie, I'm not a 
University of Central Murray, Missouri alum. I went to Kansas State. I was just recruited to Central Missouri to um, play football. This, 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 this comment here. Crystal Love says, we want Zeke back. So, Crystal, let me ask you this question. Why do you want Zeke back? Just because he's this is his eighth year in the league and, you know, kind of retire as a cowboy type of thing. I don't think they want Zeke back. Otherwise, they wouldn't give him a, quote, slap in the face contract offer. What the Cowboys are going to do, and this is what every NFL team should do moving forward. I know my man Wayne G says, you never draft a running back in the first round. Yada, yada, yada. Shut up, Wayne. Shut up. You can draft a running back late in the first round. If the Cowboys really want a two-headed monster besides Rojo, which they just signed, which is a pretty good signing, they can draft a rookie running back in the first round. Use it, abuse it for five years, baby. Franchise tag him. Six years, bada bing, bada boom. What is the life of a, of a, of a, of a running back? Seven years tops. Send him on his way. Let him go get his deal. As a Cowboys fan, I understand why you could, like, want Zeke back. But you have to go past your fandom, like, at this point. You have to realize that Zeke is over the hill. Zeke's life of the NFL running back is uh, near his end. He has one foot in the grave. I'm not saying he can't be 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 productive this year or maybe next year. But eight years in the league is a lot for a running back. Seven years is max life. The Cowboys made the right right, right choice, Crystal, un, un, unfortunately. They made the right choice. He's the best. Him and Elliot. Him, Elliot, and Cooper are great together. They were. But times change, Crystal. We can't live in the past. We cannot live in the Michael Irvin, Emmitt Smith area forever. We cannot live in the Z Cooper area forever. None of them are on the team anymore. It's time to move move on. Woody jumping in the chat here. What's up, Woody? The Saints are winning the Super Bowl. Oh, my Atlantis. Oh, my Atlantis. The Saints are winning the Super Bowl. Are you drunk or am I drunk? What? <laughs> Woody, what, what makes you think that the Saints can win the Super Bowl? Is it the fact that they got the best quarterback in the in, in the NFL in Derek Carr? <clears throat> uh, nope. Um, is it the fact that they got the top re- receiver in the NFL in Michael Thomas? Uh, no, nope, not even top 10 anymore, is he? Is it the fact that they got a felony running back in uh, um, Alvin Kamara? Possibly. I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, 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 I just... I, I can see the Saints making the playoffs. I can see that. And then, of course, any given Sunday. Woody, I will give you that. Any given Sunday. Robert, jump in the chat. I haven't seen Robert in a while. He says, what's up, bro? What's up, Robert? Long time no see, man. I haven't watched you in a while. Yeah, we just switched times at 2 p.m. I have been. Wor- I got shift- I got shift over to the overnight shift over at, uh, uh, at, like, at work. So we're doing a 2 p.m. thing. We'll see what happens. Javier answers the who is plan B quarterback for the Jets. He says, Javier, plan B for the Jets is other quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson will back up. Lamar Jackson is not going to the New York football Jets. Lamar Jackson isn't going to the Colts. Lamar Jackson isn't going to the Titans. Lamar Jackson staying in Baltimore. Sorry, bud. It is what it is. One more comment before we get into the Factor Crap Day here on Thursday, April 6th, 2023. Dallas Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl, not the stupid Saints. Shots fired, Crystal. Shower those thoughts. Fire those shots. Packers going to the playoffs? Packers? Playoffs? We're talking about playoffs? Packers will win the NFC North if Aaron Rodgers stays. If Jordan Love is the quarterback in Green Bay with like an Odell Beckham Jr., they're probably finished last in the division, Robert. 
because rumor is that uh, um, OBJ wants to go to the Packers and play with Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Well, we're not seeing any Aaron Rodgers movement, yada, yada, yada. If, if Odo Beckham Jr. happens to go to the Green Bay Packers, I can see them making the playoffs. I could see them making the playoffs. One more question here. Like, so let's be honest. Browns in the playoffs? I think the Browns are the best team in the AFC North. Pre-draft, pre, uh, pre-preseason, pre, uh, you know, cuts and all that stuff right now, I think the Cleveland Browns are the best team in the AFC North. Better than the Bengals, better than the Steelers, better than the Baltimore Ravens. They have the best all-around team. Their defense right now is going to be deadly. I like what they're doing this offseason. Deshaun Watson, a full NFL season. I mean, they still got, I mean, they did uh, Robert, uh, not Robert Woods. Michael Woods, the second, did suffer a ACL injury, but that's okay. They can address wide receiver needs in the draft. I think the Browns are going to be really, really good for a long time. The AFC North might be the most competitive division in football. We are going to see a lot of eight and nine teams, nine and eight teams. Week 18, final game, make it to the playoffs. But we'll see. In love, we trust. We'll see. I I would like to see what what old uh, uh, Jordan Love can 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 do. Brown suck. <laughs> Javier, put down the Bud Light, man. Open up a Coors Light. Eagles cannot play the Packers in the Super Bowl. I will bet my life on that will never happen. I'll bet my life. Anyways, guys, let's get into some factor crap here Here on the Thursday edition of the Man Hour. Head over to manhourradio.com. And, of course, if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with a couple friends as well. Sharing is caring. Let's get the word out. Let's show the people what Man Hour is all about. We have great time over here. Fun, interactive, live, raw, uncut sports talk. Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Great times, great times, great times. So, factor crap, factor crap. Cam Newton says he would. He never said he would not be a backup in the NFL. If you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, when Cam Newton threw at the Auburn Pro Day, he says there are not thirty-two MFers better than me in the NFL right now. He come out on his YouTube channel says that there that he would not uh, that he would consider being a backup like Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes those type of people. So fact or crap, would Cam Newton be a valuable backup in the NFL? And this is 157.7% crap. If Cam Newton would be a valuable backup in the NFL, he would be on the NFL roster right now. He had been cut by the Patriots. He was cut by the Panthers. He, he was a free agent for most of the time last season. It's just, he, he is, well, he's 33, 34 years old. He had a horrific shoulder injury that we saw that a moment, the movement of that shoulder was very compromised. Yes, he threw well with no pads on. Yes, he threw well with no pressure. He threw well with no helmet on. He threw well when he knew exactly what the court, what the, what the wide receiver was going to do, and they probably have been practicing it for the last few months. He, he did well. I'll give him that. But you are correct, Cam Newton. There are not 32 quarterbacks better than you in the NFL. There are about 57 quarterbacks better than you in the NFL right now. And... If I'm a Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, or any of those big-name quarterbacks, I don't want you on my roster. Rumor is that you have trouble learning the playbooks. Mac Jones apparently taught you the playbook in New England. So as a starting quarterback in the NFL, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, why do I want to take time out of my day 
to teach you the plays to sit there on the bench and do nothing for me. I would rather have a younger quarterback, a rookie quarterback that is hungry, that is willing, that we can push each other, we can jive together and get better together. You are going to drag me down at the end of the day. Cam Newton, a backup quarterback in the NFL? Crap. A hundred percent crap as Crystal jumps in and says that as well. It, it just, it is crap. It's, it is dumb. It's dumb. Speaking of dumb, Tyreek Hill says that he will make the Kansas City their worst nightmare when they play each other later in the 2023 NFL season. He said, and I quote, I am looking forward to the Kansas City Chiefs game. I'm going to make their make their life a living hell. I'm going to be their worst nightmare. Factor crap, Tyreek Hill makes the Kansas City Chiefs game their living nightmare. Oh, my God. Tyreek Hill, put down the crack pipe, my man. You are a prolific receiver. You are pretty good. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to discredit your ability. I'm not trying to, dis, to discredit your fundamental aspect of the game, and you are a top five receiver in the NFL. I will give you that. I will truly give you that. However, you also said in the same sentence, in that same within five, five minutes of posting that out, that you said you plan on retiring in 2025. So you're already looking forward to retirement, but you're going to make the Chiefs' life a living hell? Guys, this is 100% crap. It is crap because Tyreek Hill hasn't played a full NFL season in the last couple of seasons whether it's a hamstring, whether it's an ankle, whether it's sickness, right? He might make the Chiefs' life living hell from the Twitter, from behind the keyboard, from behind the screen, but I don't think he's going to play this game. He is going to find a way to miss it. He is going to find a way to sprain his ankle or pull a hamstring or get sick or something. I don't wish injury on anybody, but I feel like it's kind of stacking up that way. Also, Andy Reid did coach Tyree Kill for the last six seasons. He knows his weaknesses. What is Tyree Kill's weaknesses? Let him run wide open. Honestly, let him run wide open. He can't catch wide open passes. Now, in traffic, he has a great ability to focus on the ball and catch it. Wide open, he's going to drop it nine times out of ten. So factor crap, Tyreek Hill will make the Kansas City Chiefs a living, quote, hell when they play each other later this season? Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I just, I just, I don't see it happening at the end of the day. I just, I, I just don't. Next up here on the factor crap, Thursday edition of the manhourradio.com. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Share this with a couple friends. Play along with factor crap as well. I do see all the comments. Next factor crap. Bobby Wagner has officially signed with the San Jose Seahawks earlier this season. And he said, and I quote, I am grateful to be back in Seattle. I thought I would never be back here. So guys, factor crap. Bobby Wagner will have a successful season in Seattle this season. So when we think of a successful season, in the NFL, as a linebacker, we're probably thinking like 100 tackles, right? 100-plus tackles, a couple sacks, maybe interception, winning a lot of football games. And Bobby Wagner will do a lot of the latter things. He will make a lot of tackles. He will might get an interception or two. He might even get a sack or two. However, that Seattle defense is kind of suspect at, like at best. It is way too early to tell if he will have a successful season or not, but the CLC Hawks need defense of line help. What is a linebacker's best friend? A big defensive lineman that can take up blockers. A linebacker that can run free and make tackles is a man's best friend. Best friend. So factor crap, he will have a successful season yet to be determined. But if I'm a bet man, 
which sometimes I am at betstamp.app. Check it out, guys. Use promo code MANHOUR. I'm going to say Bobby Wagner does not have a successful season. In the stratosphere of Bobby Wagner, I think he has a below average season at best. I think he is way over the hill. There's a reason why the Seahawks traded him for the first time or cut him. There's a reason why he's no longer on the L.A. Rams, not because of cap, not because of this, because he, he, he just hasn't been performing. I think Bobby Wagner will have a below average season this year. This is 100% crap. I don't think he will be, be successful. He can be grateful to be back all, all, all he wants, but that gratefulness needs to turn into some type of anger and, you know, get the ball. Javier says, man, I'm getting at right now. The new quarterbacks never moved at all of the NFL. I don't know what you're saying, buddy. I'm getting at right now. The new quarterbacks never moved at all of NFL. Moving on. Trevor Lawrence and Calvin Ridley have officially stepped on the field and threw together for the first time and caught balls for the first time yesterday. They're in sunny California, or Florida, I should say. And Trevor Lawrence said, and I quote, I am super excited uh, for the season after throwing with Calvin Ridley yesterday. So fact or crap, Calvin Ridley will be a top 10 wide receiver in the NFL this season. Now, Calvin Ridley has the highest ceiling of all the receivers on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Higher ce- higher ceiling than Christian Kurt. Higher ceiling than, uh, was it, Jay Jones. Higher ceiling than their tight end. He definitely has the highest ceiling of all. However, Christian Kurt is the man on that roster. Let's just be honest. Christian Kurt got the big payday, and he is going to warrant the ball. You cannot pay a man, what, $30 million or whatever he's getting paid and not give him the ball. I'm not saying Calvin really doesn't get the ball. I'm not saying that. I'm not even saying that Calvin really may not have an explosive four, five, six games. But I'm saying once that starts to happen, the double teams are going to slide over to Calvin Ridley. They're going to lock him down, and they're going to let Christian Kirk eat. Christian Kirk kind of has that ego of like, hey, feed me the ball, and basically I, I, I'm going to let him beat me because I don't want Calvin Ridley to beat me. I'm not saying Calvin Ridley is not a great talent. He is a great talent. He could, in theory, be a top 10 receiver in the NFL. I just don't think with the Jacksonville Jaguars, he will ever be a top 10, or sorry, a top 10 receiver in the NFL. I just, I don't see it. So it is crap. It is, it is crap. I just, unfortunately, he will have a very successful season. He will catch some balls. He might even break 900 yards this season. Just beyond that, average. So will Calvin really be a top 10 receiver in the NFL this season? Crap. There are certainly 10 better receivers out there than him in the NFL right now, and one of them is probably on his team in Christian Kirk. Also, don't sleep, don't sleep on Jay. Don't sleep on Zay. But, guys, that is going to be it for the man hour for today. We are live every Monday through Friday right here at 2 p.m. East Coast time. Starting next week, my man Combs will be back. Excited to have Combsy back on the live Raw Uncut Sports Talk here. We'll be doing about an hour to hour and a half starting next week. We got daily sports bets. We got new new uh, segments happening, all that good stuff. If you guys haven't been, been affected by any of the tornadoes out the garage, guys, have a safe cleanup. We're cleaning up uh, right here in my neck of the woods right now, unfortunately. It just, it is what it is, right? Be safe, guys. As always, man, our nation, rise up.